Back at it and we dive. <laughs> yeah, we're back. We're back. Another week. We need to get this car ready for paint, which is all November. We have got um, a date now, haven't we? It's not set in stone. I'll ring him today. Okay, so it's not getting painted. We do have to get it ready for paint, whatever the situation Well, is. I think it's around, going to be around about that time because we're going to have the same problem as if we go with anyone nobody's just gonna be able to just boom yeah bring it down yeah drop it especially if they're any good they're gonna be booked up so yeah, yeah. Yeah, need booking in yeah there's still plenty yeah. to do there's still loads to do we've still got the engine we've yeah. still got but we need all the bits done. yeah, yeah we've got so yeah, we've, goes we've to got to get loads of stuff still there for the engine powder coated is it aqua aqua blasted on the engine yeah but uh, that, we, we did want to kind of do because the other thing is the guy did say it may be there for a month yeah which is fair enough because it is a big it, job you need, and you need a proper job doing as well so so for now for the prep for the paint yeah what we're we doing right front we need to get all the welding yeah we need dusted. to get all the welding done now it's it's literally it's everything so it's it's never ending everything what we've done we've tapped most of it in we just got to finish it off. So There's the just wings, hundreds of little holes, aren't there? <laughs> yeah. right. So we're gonna. What we're gonna do today? We decided because it's getting a bit not on top, but we kind of just need to like use our whiteboard what we kind of got it for and get a list set. I know, yeah. Jack, so Jack brought it as well, and it's hard to get fucking anything out of Jack. <laughs> so we need <laughs> to kind of get something written on the board so everyone knows if someone's looking around and or sitting down. Uh, there's a job <laughs> there's a job to do if it's on the board and if you fancy doing it why you guys one of us do you, will do it why do you, you've just assaulted me i've assaulted you what yeah. with words you just threw a dig what a verbal dig a verbal dig come on dave you're, you're throwing digs left right and center you're no, and when when what i say is true <laughs> Yours is what you say is hurtful. You've got a job on for today, right? You don't take that mask off and them gloves off until every little bit. You might even lose a bit of weight, right? Yeah, how much welding you're going to do today. You might put some on sitting in that seat. <gasps> <laughs> the only reason I'm heavy. I want to do it. Mate, the only, re the only reason I'm heavy is because of my pocket, man. <laughs> While we all the stuff around the uh, windscreens, yeah? Yes. Now, what, what else? Uh, then we've got a seam seal down the inside of the door, uh, the wing, because we can't get that one to back on. Imagine you, get, you, imagine you had a face for the fucking... Radio. Radio. Not... Oh, well, I've got a face for dark room. You should have actually been the cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, people. Can you give that back to James? <laughs> <laughs> give it a oh, back doors. Back to the drawing board. Strip the back doors. Put back doors on, strip them. Can't put them on. The hinges on. on. <laughs> Just strip the doors, yeah? They're pretty. Come here, let, let, let's show them how stressed you've been with this car and being friends with me over the years. Oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that landing strip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Off to it, yeah, you're right. Um, what, for? Yeah, what for? The kneecaps. <laughs> It's some new kneecaps. <laughs> some some refurbs. Kneecaps and camera don't look right, so I thought I'd get them done. Go in and say, oh, what are you come for, sir? Air transplant? No. You are you going turkey for a fucking... <laughs> a height, a height. Stretch. Yeah, stretch. Get my legs broken, turkey. Right. Should we... Can we start a GoFundMe page, please, for Stokes' <laughs> turkey trip? <laughs> so, he can sort himself out, so he can sort himself out, and he can come back. A happy guy. You know, he can come back a normal height, <laughs> have a luscious head of hair for his age. <laughs> 21. You are. You look. People tell you you look 21, don't they? No, they do, <laughs> Get that out of my face now. Uh, hair brushed on the back. We need to sort of boot out as well. Yeah, you can't. You can't stand on there because it's really thin metal. If <laughs> well, I get the pins out the back, that would help us because I want. The shell painting like that with the hinges on. If it has a seam seal, like, I don't want to unbolt that again. Spoiler's got to come off. So strip boot. Yeah, strip boot. All the locks got to come out of it.
if you remember, our little mates, done a good job. Oh, that's why the doors are yeah. open on the thing. Oh, bloody hell. Well, because we were driving around with doors sure, open, yeah, wasn't it? Mate, <laughs> might have been a little heavy handed, but not heavy handed enough to break two wires. Yeah, Dave's been busy today, isn't he? Fucking on it, I am. Repair rush. So we'll strip the boot lid and we can strip the short floors boot. as well. Yeah, short boot. Short floor out. Strip the boot floor. Boot, boot lid. That's boring, short like. boot, what have we got to short the boot out? Got the floor of the boot. Nice little punch thing, didn't I? Dave's gone for a poo in my car, so I think there was 50 miles on the range, so that means, I mean, his house from here is probably a mile. So and with his diesel shortage? The diesel shortage as well. He'll probably end up, he's had to left it at his house <laughs> and uh, got a lift in. Every mile counts, I think, mate, the minute. It does. But we're just getting through. The bits now, I know it's just tedious little things. Like I'm, we spotted the roof on uh, when we had the jig because we wanted to obviously roll the car over, so we just kind of spotted it in place. And now I'm just going along, wilding up. Oh, he's found a little punchy thing, what just hammered stuff flat. Jack's been flattening the wilds down, yeah, flattening the wilds down on the wing, so try and get them to sweet like. Uh, Dave had the boot, tried to set the boot spoiler off, but the, but the bolts in the boot spoiler have rusted, so I think we're going to have to drill them out. Just prepping Just for paint. Prepping, like, yeah, yeah, it is prepping, I suppose, for the paintwork for the body shop. Guaranteed, when we get to the body shop, they'll be like, we need to do this, we need to do that, need. but hopefully we get through. It's like Dave took out little switches in the door, um, the door switches. We're gonna take these latches out, but we wanna get the front doors on. We have to take the rear doors off on the hinge. So what we wanna do is bolt that up, make sure everything lines up. Because what we didn't wanna do is just bolt these on, seam seal around, have it all painted, get the rear doors on, and they're all out of sync. And we're gonna have to adjust it all on there. So we wanted to get it to what it's gotta be on the hinge side and get that on. But, the hinges are still on the rear doors, we've got to split them off. So hopefully we can get that done today as well. Once we get it ready for paint, we need to get a big list sorted, don't we Jack? Um, get stuff to the aquabusters, stuff like that. What bolts and bits and bobs we need for the engine. Um, new parts for the engine, like the clutch. Um, oil filter, gasket set, do you know what I mean? Just all the bits and bobs and clean everything, paint the engine block clean the engine block down again before we paint the engine block. Um, yeah, but we'll worry about that when we get this. Mm. Back to it then, eh? You, you know a quick race bro, John? Yeah. <laughs> Needs a quick race bro. Nothing's ever quick. No. You a vet, Dave? What? You a vet? Why? you got your arm right up there, haven't you? They've got this nice little rubber bung bit here, but the bolt bit is right here. Isn't it, Jack Dave? You've just been through a poo. Good job you went, not it? it? Fucking is, mate. You know what? If what? I get this spoiler off, guess what? What? I'm going. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm going, then. I've done my, I've done my duty. What, removing the spoiler? Yeah. What about the rest of it? What we need to do on it? I just think it's definitely like easier than this. Of course. Always have, haven't we? We've always got it easy, haven't we, Jack? Get your arm down there. Get your arm down there and do that. Go on. Jack obviously can't get his arm down there because they're, they're too big. What's mean, Dave's a massive. Fucking not way bigger arm. Look at that swan on that. <laughs> oh, it's a massive car to do. It's a nice dent on there. Got to be painted anyway. What, the dent? <laughs> <laughs> the dent's got to be painted. I wish I'd never introduced you to. Because of his little to. arms, innit? Wish I'd never introduced you to. Could have, I could have kept his apart and been friends with the pair of you. <laughs> You've got some little arms you have, you know. It fell down there, didn't it? I know. He's even got his jumper on with it. You probably get his upper arm in as well if you want. I could climb in there if you want. I'll just crawl down the hole. Nice wild tail. Yeah. 
for a measly couple of minutes. I got it off on my own. And, um, Dave was doing it, he's done it, and now he's sat down anyway. The king in his throne. Check on your eyes on them, I got this. Good there. Shoulders look like that anyway, don't they? It's how I got this. But, <sighs> right, got, flip it someone's on, obviously had a fat bird on the boot and dented it. Ow! I can't say that. What fat bird's on the boot? I meant like a blue tip. Oh, I've had too much bird food. Whoa, Dave, what are you doing, man? What are you doing? Knocking the metal out. You don't knock it out, what, with a screwdriver and a panel beating hammer? <laughs> it's not the right tool. And old Dave, just wait a minute, will ya? Two seconds. I don't, I know you're trying to do work. Look, it's a bit like a rift nut thing. Dave, for <laughs> God's sake, man. Oh, oh well done, look what you made me do now. Right, flip this over so I can take the hinges off. Do what you thought, do what you said, what mate. What are you doing with this? Well, just drop it. Drop, obviously drop everything and help him move that. <laughs> Where do I put it? Because he'll be back in his chair. Put lagging now, I am. Lagging or lagging? Lagging, like, as you know, slow pace, lagging. Why are you lagging, mate? Because I didn't get back until like half one. I didn't get sleep till half one this morning. No documentaries. No. I was actually I was working at Rolls Royce in Mayfair. You know, do a bit there. Do you pass him like your mind gaffers? Fucking pair of my mind. <laughs> Did he have to sit in the chair to make himself feel better? So, and he watches us down on those peasants working on his Sierra. Have you seen what it says? Right, you are a peasant compared to me. <laughs> have you seen what it says on the that chair? Dave's MD. Does it say Dick Rector? No, it's just big, big Dick Director. Big Dick Director. Is wrong? Nah, I'll get a proper chairman. <laughs> what, are you going to get one with? You know, a sofa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, set, set with a TV at the end of it. <laughs> I'm not a new unit. I'm having like a sofa put, a corner sofa and a coffee table, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You're having, a, you're having your own chef and all. Anyway, back this to it. This new unit is going to have bunk beds. <laughs> I ain't sharing a fucking bunk bed with you. Should we get a triple bunk bed? Remember that time when we did share a triple bunk bed? Triple bunk bed, a toilet. We can't, office, we can't talk the about the kitchen. It. No, no, no. We can have pot noodles on that, can't we? On the pot noodles sandwiches. I'll oh, live there, I'll live. You can move out in your mum and dad's house. <laughs> I can do. Not gonna do, is it? Nah. It's about too cushy there. I did have, I, I did have you as I did have my own ass, but I've sold it because I can't afford it. Whatever. <laughs> what did you have? A house. Whose house? My house. Your auntie's house. Oh, yeah, it's my auntie's house. These YouTube viewers. Start going for me, mate, <laughs> for my mate, to get a cancer flat. <laughs> Found them all yet, mate. <laughs> Dave just kindly booted the tub of his screw, what he was collecting. So it'll be a couple short. Jack has got the new little tool we had to grab. Air one is a uh, 13 in? Yeah, mil? No, 20, 20, 20 mil. 20 mil. And you have just literally nipped screw fit, got this electric, was it 13 mil? Just to get down this little... I need electric, so I don't have to keep stopping. Yeah. And uh, just to flat them welds down Look on the this. roof. That. Okay, done. Just angles. What was it, 50, 50 quid? Yeah, 50 quid, nothing major. We can get an airline one, but we needed it now, didn't we, Jack? So we just grabbed that from screwing. Yeah. Plus this I could review for 40 quid, I didn't. Ah, 10 pound extra gets you a better review. Mm-hmm. Or feeling lethargic. Feeling what? Lethargic. What's that mean? Do you want a drink or something? It's a bit, you know, when you're a little bit in the twilight zone. A bit kind of tired of it. Yeah. No energy. Drive boat, that's what you want energy no drink? Energy. So send Dave the no, shop? No, I ain't got me, but I'm going in a minute. Dave's off, he's done. He's sat back down, tied it up. You got, it's got hot. Mate, it's got hot. I'm not working late again. Don't work late, mate. <laughs> you think you always work late, Dave? Does. Well, you worked late last night, didn't you? Yeah, I've got a proper job. I don't just, I just stand staring at my dad all day. I hate to say it, Dave, but the check straps on the doors need taking off and all. Well, you best do it 
So I'll finish your job That's off. No problem. I'll finish your job off. Which should get a nice bit of a base, different speeds. Crack on, mate. Right then, uh, just me today. Uh, Jack's at work, Dave's at work doing whatever Dave does. Probably annoying people, but I've finished work early, so I've come down because there's just loads of little uh, time consuming bits that we kind of need to get done, like painting bits, letting it dry, sanding it back. So obviously, it's going to take a long while. I've gone down, I don't know if you can see that. The inside there with some seam sealer. I'm then going to uh, get some brush on seam sealer, sort the rest of that out, and then I'm going to tidy up these wings. So I've got some high build primer just to fill in all the little like divoty bits where it kind of gone. Then rusty fruit just cr started corroding from where the previous repair. So. Put some high build primer on that, um, flat it back to get it nice, and then we've got a seam seal down that. It's got the grinder in here the other day. Uh, forget that to focus. Well, it was rusty, so I'm going to cut this out here and then weld a new piece in. The other thing I wanted to go over as well was obviously we've been welding in the back here where the chassis legs, where the rear axle bolts up. So. I've kind of just whacked some, um, primed it and then whacked some seam sealer in. But obviously it's quite deep, so I'm going to get some more seam sealer now and hopefully get it nice and tidy. I did look at trying to get some of this replacement sound deadening, but I'd have to do seal it somehow anyway and then it might sit too. So hopefully, fingers crossed, when I do all this, we'll see how it comes out. Um, we may have to relay over the top if we can get some sound in it again, but it is all covered up by the carpet. But we'll see how it comes out, so I'm going to do that as well. So I've got this looking a bit tidier, so it looks obviously a lot tidier than that brushed effect that side. So all I've done, taped up around the area, gobbed the load in. Uh, so it brings up to the top of the level of the sound deadening and then all I've done uh, use this here piece of plastic there's an old one of the lids Chinese pub lid just cut it out because that's all I had I do either a credit card or a proper filler scraper which I have got some somewhere but I can't find it anyway and it just makes it a lot neater so it doesn't look too bad Right then, I've just got off this piece on the back, made a little piece up for it. Um, weren't too difficult, a couple of spot welds on there, which you can see. I thought it was a bit of a mark in the back panel, but the two spot welds are there, so you can actually see where they are on the, that other side, on the original bit. But I've just whacked some wild through primer or everyone keeps banging on about we have got some now like i say thanks very much in the comments so that's going to go on there where them little spot where i'm going to use a tack because that edge isn't welded so that'd be you know flapping about or stuff could get in there uh it is seam sealed up there afterwards but yeah we just kind of made a piece up that was some sheet metal, pretty easy, so I'm going to weld the silk now, get that tacked on and see how it looks. So I managed to weld that patching now and it's come out pretty good considering. Um, 
I think it just needs a little bit of like filler primer, high build primer now, going over it and yeah, have a look. Let's get that line there. It isn't too bad down there, so like I said, I'll get some etching zinc primer on that and then some high build, flat it all off. And yeah, let the bodywork guys deal with the rest of it. But we've not got a hobble seal now. Right, I'm gonna finish off these arches. So I put a bit of tape down, put in a bit of seam seal out the uh, gun, and now I'm gonna paint some in, and we're gonna go for the original Dipley effect. I don't know if that's what you class it as. Um, so we'll get it like that. I can stone chip over that, just blow the air in to rough it up. So I've got the inside of these arches more or less 100% now I think. Probably a few little bits just to touch up but if you have a look in I'll just stone chip that and I uh, probably need another coat but yeah it's all that seal there which if you remember on when we took the old wings off had rusted all down there. What I've got to do now is finish off down there just got some high build primer on and then that'll be um, seam sealed body shop guys will sort the rest out but we thought we'd just put a little bit in that's welded up i just need to finish flatten it down i went on it a bit early it wasn't fully cured so and then put a bit more on and then the, like i say body shop guys will sort that out but that's 100 percent solid then there's a few bits on the bottom of the rear window where we welded up uh, just got to finish off this side of the roof, finish off that part and just it's more or less all ground down where the wilds are. Uh, and then it just needs the high build primer in, seam sealing. So bodywork wise, I think we're almost there. So like I say, it just all these little things, sanding bits down. Uh, Letting stuff dry, I mean, I haven't got time for letting stuff dry. I'm like the worst painter in the world. I'll literally, if it has a run, I'll try and paint the run out. Thinking it's going to make it better, it never does. So, luckily enough, I'm not doing the body work, well, paint work on this car. So, yeah. Few more bits and we're more or less done. I've just literally spotted another bit now as we're talking. So I'll sort that tomorrow. 